So, the final whistle has gone at Pride Park, boys and girls, and what a shambles. What a shambles. That's all we can say about that one. 3 0 arse kicking by Derby County. That's right. One to forget, definitely, boys and girls, as uh, our chance to move in the top six is on hold yet again. And for me, I think it's over. I think, I think realistically, you know. Us being in the conversations, I don't know if it's, if, if it's saying how good a season we've had or just how bad a season the championship has across the board or just how tight it is uh, across, the, across the division. But um, yeah, massive, massive defeat. A bit of, a, bit of an arse kicking, really. 3-0, um, battering. Yep, uh, the first goal was an absolute belter. You can't deny it. It, it, it was a goal worthy of, of winning a game. Uh, City is a youngster, youngster. I can't remember his name. Um, uh, but we'll know about him. We'll know. We'll hear a lot about him because he's a very special player. And Derby were I actually watched the first half with uh, Derby commentary. They were singing his praises, and they they did not batter an eyelid because there was no Wayne Rooney, no Martin, uh, no Mar no no Tom Lawrence, Martin Lawrence. That's it from Bad Boys. <laughs> and, uh, no Tom Lawrence, obviously ex Rover. And, that, and, and the stage was set, and I thought, you know what? I thought that like, it was going to be in our hands. I thought the script was written. You know, two of their key players, uh, Holmes as well, not in the starting eleven. I thought, you know what? This is for an advantage Rovers. But uh, when I heard the Derby commentary, especially before kickoff, uh, they they were just they were singing the praises. They think, you know, they didn't even batter an eyelid. They thought, you know what? This this youngster, uh, he actually uh, I think he played some some part of the the FA Cup game against Manchester United. Um, uh, I don't know if he played the whole game or if he just got a, a cameo, but they were singing his praises before he even kicked a ball today. They were excited, uh, you know, thinking that uh, here he is for his championship debut and what a stage and what a goal and what a performance he did. He actually, I, I, here's me, as a Rovers fan, singing his praises myself. It was a goal worthy of winning a game, but it wasn't just him. It was uh, a, a double to finish us off from Chris Martin. Not that Chris Martin. Uh, yes, Chris Martin, of course, goal scoring extraordinaire. Um, he's always there. He's always competing. He's always he's a double digit goal scorer. He might not get twenty or thirty goals, uh, but he gets you ten, fifteen a season. And uh, yeah, he got himself a couple today to uh, move outright top goal scorer of Derby. Here's me singing Derby's praises, and I'm not even talking about Rovers. That's how bad a performance it was today. We did it. It could have been oh so very different early on. Uh, big bad boy Brereton had an opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net. He had all the time in the world. It felt like slow motion. The ball coming into him, wide open goal. He sized up the shot. And just because of, of the form or the, or the confidence that the lad has, he put it into row Z. Or as the Americans say, Z. That's right, row Z. Um, so a defeat for us today, which just leaves us. It's as you were, though, really. Again, a weekend full of ups and downs in the championship. Some, some teams have moved closer. Millwall look, hey, I took a massive stride towards it. I think Cardiff, uh, didn't they get a point or something? Uh, so it's, it, you know, advantage Millwall. Rovers falling down the pecking order, but still just three points off of playoffs at the moment. So next week week we go again and it is Bristol City on the horizon it's a home game they're in amongst it as well after there I think they got a point against Fulham I don't know I, I didn't really pay too much attention to the results yesterday uh, it was kind of a, a day off of the old football but uh, you know I did know that uh, it was still um, advantage Rovers heading into this but uh, we're, 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 the, we're the culprits of our own downfall in the end um, I don't know, we, we, we built ourselves up, we started very attacking, with a very attacking lineup as well, no defenders on the bench to kind of patch it up, uh, taking our best, one of our best midfielders, in fact the only midfielder that we had that was contributing that was Lewis Travis with the yellow card, he had to go, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not even talking about the, uh, the last minute dot com red card that saw substitute and youngster and Rovers Academy prospect, John Buck get himself sent off, not a day for him, not a, not a cameo for him, it's one of them, them cameos that you're gonna, you want to forget, but yes, Daily double from Chris Martin, an absolute spectacular from the old row, uh, from the Derby youngster as well, to take home more three points and maybe just maybe put them on the map as well to squeak into the old playoff spots. Well, they're not going to get in the playoff spot, but they'll move a little bit closer uh, in, 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 the, in the chasing pack. I think we're a tenth at the table. Again, still a win away from uh, the top six again. But for me, the dream, the dream, I don't think it was ever really on. It's not, it's not over. It's tough, but for me, I believe it is over. I just think... We don't have enough defensive cover. We don't know our key players are not there. The goals are not coming in from our main man. We're relying too much on Adam Armstrong at the moment to put the ball in the back of the end. If he's not delivering, the goals aren't really coming elsewhere. So, yeah, it's always, it's always going to be a massive struggle for me. I'm going to, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm. We're, yes, we're still in it mathematically, but it's going to take 
a, a, a football and miracle for us to get into those those top six spots. It's going to be a long old drive, I think, for the old Rovers fans and also the Rovers players as they head back to uh, to Blackburn and Lancashire. And uh, yeah, let's just forget about this one. It was a terrible, terrible uh, afternoon's football and a uh, big, big chance for Derby to get themselves to be that team. There's always one team, obviously, they're going to st uh, storm their way into the top six. Could it be them? No Wayne Rooney, no Lawrence. But who? They bloody just they didn't care. They just they didn't batter an eyelid. They just kept it up. And they played some really good football and they uh, they ripped us a new one. Big thing, big shout for Rovers though. Next week we see the return of Daryl Lenehan. It just goes to show how much we rely on having it two decent centre backs uh, and not just uh, and playing Bennett as a square peg in a round hole. So it just goes to show that we, we do lack defenders. It's 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 a problem that we've had for years and it's a problem that's gonna hold us back in, in, in the in the in the short slash medium and long term. We need more defenders. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why. We've never really decided to bring in reinforcements or what. So anyway, uh, let's just move on. This one's, this one's nasty. The only good thing to do about this goal is watch that goal. It was a cracking goal. You ain't gonna see much better goals this weekend in the championship by that youngster. Um, whatever his name is, Sidibi. Well, I don't even know what his name is, but uh, we won't forget it in a long time. Three nil battering at Pride Park. Our, our form uh, heading into this game against Derby has always been pretty decent, but uh, good chance for them to, you know, they've, they've broken the hoodoo now and you never know. Anyway, Rovers, Bristol City next time out. We'll do a detailed review a little bit later on the channel. Until then, though, I'm going to go forget this and go see my mate, Will and Black. Will and Black, I'm going to go see my mate, Will Smith, and he's going to wipe my memory so I can, don't have to remember that little uh, absolute battering. Until then, I'll see you all very, very soon. Smash the thumbs up for us to subscribe. I'll see you later. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>